Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Cold War Iron Curtain Mod for Hearts of Iron Fall, which we're playing as the, well, the big old blue nation right in front of us. So let's begin, and even though we are doing a focus, the Truman Administration. President Truman's first administration will focus on improving internal stability and security as well as continuing some of the late President Roosevelt's programs and policies. But he's a containment proponent. He's in the shadow of uh, FDR's legacy and he's a corruption buster, which is not too bad. But right now China is not having a good time. Can we send volunteers? Ooh, we, we can send eight volunteers. That ain't too bad. Now, I'll be honest, they, we have a lot of divisions here. Well, maybe not that much, but like... <sighs> These Cold War divisions, I just don't understand. I really don't. Calvor... Cal 33... Ca oh my gosh. Yeah, this is... This kind of funky stuff. Airborne divisions? I don't mind... I like airborne divisions, but... Honestly, they're not... Great. These guys have 146 soft attack and 328... This just... Infantry seem maybe better overall. Yeah, light tanks, main battle tanks. Uh, we just did that. Just in the infantry. Eh, I'll send the infantry. See what happens. We could send on some armor, but whatever. We'll send some guys over. There you go. And send them with general probably too. Crane Abrams, Graham, Wallace Graham. Well, good luck, guys. And also, like when I set this stuff up off screen, uh, I got rid of a lot of planes already, so. Uh, send some fighters, some um, tactical bombers. Uh, how many guys can we send, actually? Because I would like to get some air XP here. If possible. Uh, actually, just send everybody, then. If we possibly can. Um, not a really a lot of good air bases, I'll be honest here. Eastern Command. <coughs> Excuse me. 50. Um... A lot of this territory is not owned by us, which is not very good. But that's alright. So, let us go ahead and do the next focus in early street by the Fair Labor Standards Amendment versus Agriculture Act of 49. Let's do this one first. The Fair Labor Standards Amendment will modify the Act of 1938 by increasing minimum wages and extending child labor protection laws. And pulse stick, monthly financial stuff. I'm not really sure what that does. But the death of justices. If you want to read that, please go ahead. There's a new focus in the U.S. judiciary following the deaths of Justices Frank Murphy and Wiley Rutledge, only months from each other. The two vacancies must be filled by the president and political observers across the country are awaiting his nomination. Some believe the president may choose two conservative jurists. Doing so would help the government in ca cases targeting dangerous dissidents or threats to national security. I'll suggest that the smart move may be to appoint liberal judges to aid for the efforts to protect civil liberties and civil rights. I have no idea who's historical here. Hollywood, Hollywood 10 begins se prison sentence. Who's here appeal? Freeze Hollywood. I have no idea who that is. Well, I, I, I want to go historical, but I have no. I literally have no idea. So, um, target dangerous dissidents or threats to national security. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the conservative one for now. I'm not really sure. I really, I literally have no idea. So you guys are already over here, which is nice. You guys come over here, maybe. I guess come here then. It's fine. A little better. And make sure we have enough guys, like, coming out this way. That's not too bad. And then one, uh, two, go right here. There you go. Let the AI figure out, like, where everyone needs to go, so. It's fine. Because China does get, the PRC does get a lot of, uh, strength to do stuff. So, I'm not exactly sure what we can do here. Multiple 360 complete Texas resource, resource survey. The Texas oil boom has brought great levels of oil to the country and brought great wealth to levels of wealth to our country. A full prospect of staking allows us to find the last great oil reserves and possibly other resources as well. And the same thing for California. It's rich with various ores and minerals. We should begin to search for uranium deposits in the state in order to gather its resources. Why not? And we could get, take out loans with the Chinese Civil War. We've got tax breaks proposals, which wouldn't be bad. Or we can build so faster, so... Either or, really. Look at that, Eric's B already going up higher, higher, higher. Full on fuel... Ooh. Oh, whoops. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. We spent a lot of money. Oh. Balance is plus 15 billion. Current money is minus 660 bit. Oh my goodness. Did I make a mistake? I'm assuming I made a mistake already. Oh well. Um, Douglas MacArthur. Oh, we could probably promote somebody eventually here. Let's get MacArthur here. Or Eisenhower, I mean. Eisenhower. He's getting just kind of happy. Pretty good on attack, though. Pretty good on attack. Try something like this, maybe. See what we can do. I know there's only infantry. They're not really that strong. Please don't tell me there's like 6,000 division. Oh my god. I hate having so many different divisions. But. Maybe once after this episode, I'm going to just go ahead and like edit these templates maybe a little bit, just because it looks so bad. It just looks so bad. 
For all you playing, just do this. There you go. Wait, were we defeated? Oh, that's not good. Can you guys actually go in? Here, you guys attack. You might be able to do okay. Us? Oh, someone got overran. That's really not good. I mean, PRC divisions, hopefully we can beat them back up. Uh, no guarantees, of course. Let's go into expert, too. Supreme Court upholds of contempt case. So Kyle Hollywood tends to the convictions for contempt of Congress upheld in the Supreme Court. The court refused to pick up the case, confirm the conviction. All ten former Hollywood writers and directors will soon be expected to pay a fine and serve a sentence of one year in prison. The conviction came after the accused failed to testify before the House of Un-American Activities Committee to allegations that they were members of the Communist Party. The accused did attempt to read the statements condemning the committee and its actions, but were often cut off or treated with hostility by the congressman. Hopes that the Supreme Court will rule in favor of the Hollywood Ten and its claims the convictions were a constitutional violation were denied by the court. Good. Okay. Agricultural Act of 49. The Agricultural Act of 1949 will allow for the donation of surplus food to countries in need of it and provide assistance to states for the establishment of school lunch programs. Cool. The thing about this is that you got to keep attacking because they get a bonus against like uh, the other China. No, maybe not. Big prison sentence? Okay, cool. I, I, I have no idea whether that's the good right one to do or not. How many minutes we lost to the Chinese Volunteer Army? 10,000, that's pretty bad already. Don't get me wrong, Eisenhower was good on attack, but just even being here, it's probably a bad idea. We could get encircled here because the PRC is quite strong in the beginning. Um, let's keep going on for now, I guess. It sucks that we lost Shanghai, but whatever. Fair Labor's Amendment. More political power. Basically, lose 20. More monthly population. Hurt your cap. Growth. Sure, why not? Attack break proposal. I guess we might as well do that too. Look at all them civvies we're making. It's great. Follow it up with what? C CIA Act? No. Omnibus Medical Research. The Omnibus Medical Research Act will create the NIAMD, or National Institute of Arthritis and Metabolic Diseases. It will also authorize the Surgeon General to form a national, national advisory program. Cool. <coughs> also, I do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. The National Science Foundation Act. The NSF Act will establish the NSF, an independent government agency that, that promotes and supports all fields of research, from math and computer science to social studies and economics. We do do more stuff here, but oh, look, look, we have actually some money. But our debt's pretty bad. How do we pay off our debt? Oh, can we do stuff here? Oh, that'd be really nice. Industrial Park? Yeah, we do want to definitely with some of those. Material Designers? Yes, that would be nice. Not really necessary right now, though. Oh, this stuff is interesting. Ah, coffee time. Not bad. Bell, uh, Boeing, Ship Designers, Electric Boat, BIW. Oh, not bad, as well as with some tank designers. So, let's come back over here and choose this one. Hope we don't get encircled, though. That would suck. Because these guys have... And I'll show you our national spirit to banditry. Um, widespread corruption. They do get an attack bonus against these guys. I'm not sure where. Banditry. Wow. Le Zongren. Not for inflation. No, I don't see it anywhere. Huh. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they changed it. I have no idea. But we are on defense now, so... Good luck, guys. Good luck. We are doing some serious air damage, though, which is nice. An operative could be recruited Mary Cook. Sure, you want. Mary McCook, why not? Hope I don't actually sacrifice these guys in the end. That would really suck. They are really desperately trying to kill us off. Come an infantry leader. Nice. Hazir found dead. Foreign Ministries, Mongolian Recognition Campaign, Omnibus Spending, or Omnibus Medical Research Act, and the CIA. But of course, let's do this one first. Um, well, we're really only building what? What are we building here? We call it Industrial Parks. Now, will this help us with Industrial Parks? Um, water Infrastructure. Oh, industrial Park Construction Speed, yeah. Technically, yeah, so not bad. Not great, but not bad. See, Central Intelligence Agency Act. The CIA Act was essentially make the CIA an almost independent government branch, allowing to keep its records and agents secret, as well as giving it your unlimited funds. Exciting? Yes. Awesome constitutional? You betcha. 
Democrat's public announcement. Director Edward Democrat, one of the convicted Hollywood 10, released a public statement from prison in which he condemned the Communist Party for using him and his fellow co-defendants as tools to further their agenda. Democrat Rick had sought to escape prison by fleeing to England before he could be taken into custody, however. After his passport was expired, he returned to the U.S. and arrested. His vow to appear before the House of Un-American Activities Committee to set the following record straight and name communists in Hollywood. Interesting. Make sure you don't get in circle here, guys. That would be all sucko for us. So, Chinese Civil War. Leave. Oh, we could, we could leave NATO. Wow, that'd be kind of weird. Dra target. Draft a targeting list. Must be selected to enable the chemical weapons button. After this, you will be able to pick a chemical agent to use and then use a button. Nice. Chemical warfare? I love it. That kind of sucks over there. Legislation pass. Cool. The U.S. Congress has successfully passed current proposed legislation in both congressional bodies. Good news. Support the act? Might as well. And the CIA stuff. It's over here. The CIA. Oh, crap. Well, we could do this. That's after the Plevin panel, and All right. The Kefauer hearings. Why not? The Kefauer hearings are part of the Senate's investigation of organized crime and interstate commerce. And Senator S. Kefauer is the head of the investigation. He wants to find out how many crime organizations exist in America. Hey. Wait, is this a job of the FBI? Shh. It's all right. The FBI and CIA can hate each other, too. No, I usually just close out of these. I don't think we really need these too much. Um, uh, what is this like right now? Binary program language is nice. It's more office park income, and what else? Sure, why not? Oh, we can't do that one yet, because we got to wait first. So... Hmm. Might as well do that one. And we do have enough money for now. As you can tell, we're using the state treasure tool mob, and we're also using player the peace conferences, but, you know, whatever. Well, we're going to lose too many guys here. We've lost 60,000, which is a lot better than what we had earlier. Well, not better, but, you know, our guys are learning, which is super important. Yeah, they're just, they just want to attack like crazy, man. <clears throat> I'm kind of a, um, apprehensive to make these guys 40 combat with, because as much as I'd love to, like, they could be really bad for us, like, supply and stuff, so... Ladder to I love I love having armor on here. But at the same time, I don't really see a point of it. Mm. Ladder artillery. <laughs> well, I'm kind of okay with that. It does raise up supply, but just barely. After organization barely. Um honestly, I don't want the map main battle here. I don't mind getting a lot of support companies. I like having a lot of support companies. Uh, heavy artillery. Let's get as much artillery as you possibly can. I don't want any special forces for infantry, so... You know what? It gives us 13 more soft attack? Why not? Screw it. Do it. Am missing anything else for our divisions? Hopefully not. Still doing quite well up here as well, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, no, no, focus set. Power hearings. Followed up with the Defense Production Act of 1950. Hey, welcome aboard, Israel. Just don't blow up our... our not state, but ship. Um, in response to the start of the Korean War, we should pass a DPA. It allows President Truman to prohibit hoarding and price gouging, forcing businesses to prioritize military products and contracts, and requisition property, among other things. It also enables the DOD to give out interest-free loans to help businesses vital the war effort. I guess like, I should be going this way. The American Armed Forces, the U.S. Army, Strategic Air Command, oh, nuclear test, cool. Um, if you wonder about those, please just go ahead. You can go back and, like, touch on that, but the State Department, containment policy, uh, if you want to read about this, please go ahead again. No more fuel for the fire. More fuel for the fire, I mean. So we might need to do this stuff too, so we're gonna probably do that stuff next. I'm not sure if eh, this is 1950. Legislation passed, nice. Central intelligence. Hmm. It's not bad. Uh national science first. We got a lot of things we can pass, so. For agent recognition, power hearings, um anti merger act. Well, let's do this one first too. Special Senate Committee. Is there a criminal conspiracy in the US? Oh, you bet there is. I'm sure there is somewhere. God dang, look how weak these pe normal divisions are now. I want to move our guys out, but... Bro, this sucks. We could try to abandon it, but, like, what's going to happen then? Hmm... 
Soviets suspend claim. Ooh, he goes to DDR. To Turkish Straits. Alright, well, that's interesting. They're doing stuff, so out of this one. Let's come back down here and do the American Armed Forces. No, 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 I lied. The State Department. Focuses related to international poli policies. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably what we want to do. And the CIA as well. Yeah. Radio Free Europe. <coughs> Vietnam Desk. Uh, we also have Iran Desk. Haiti Desk. Ghani's Assassin goes bye-bye. Establishment of the Korean Workers Party. It was Republic of China uh, lobbying for Europe European stuff. Okay. Well, whatever. Good luck with that, I guess. I just don't want to get cut off, man. I feel like we're, we are probably just going to get cut off eventually, so... Uh, look how weak they are. You know, we could probably pull an audible here. Just going to shift down south a little bit more. Something like this. Yeah, do that. Do it before we get cut off. The State Department. Follow it up with what? Rifles? Nice. Containment policy? Let's do the mutual security plan. Why not? That's, that's a pretty quick one. Um, we're producing some outdated stuff here. Also, like... if. If at any time if something doesn't look right or I'm doing something weird, just let me know because, like, I don't know this mod at the time of this recording extremely well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm op totally open to um, your guys' suggestions. I'll, I'll say it like that. Your guys' suggestion. I don't mind learning more if you know this mod better than I do. So, just saying. Just saying. Um... Leave NATO? Probably not. Can we use chemical weapons against the Chinese? I think that'd be a lot of fun, honestly. I think that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Legislation passed. Great. <coughs> we got plenty of legislation to pass, which sounds like a lot of fun. The formation of the Patet Lao? Jordanian Dinar. A new movement has risen in Laos, the People's Lao People's Party. Later called the Patet Lao, is a Marxist Leninist guerrilla movement that has been created by the Prince Su Fang O Vung, who met Ho Chi Minh as close ties with the Viet Minh, originating from the Lao Isara. The anti-French and non-communist nationalist movement was adopted by the S people, who joined the Viet Minh's revolt against the French in the First Indochina War. Many claim that the pa that Lao are a mere extension of the Vietnamese communists. While this claim is an independent movement that is dedicated to the liberation of Lao from capitalist and American elements, Laos is now divided between the monarchists and communists, and few can wager if the nation itself can support the empire. Will all of Indochina go red? Oh, you betcha. Hmm. That one first, too. Do we have any... Oh, we're nuclear power. We are on... Oh, we can raise it. Can we lower it? Alright, cool. Mutual Security Act? Nice. Have you wondered about this? The Mutual Security Plan, please go ahead. Cool. Containment Policy? Hungarian Revolution? The Decolonization Debate? Well, we're also not to talk about that. The French into China War. Out of the Second World War, the Vietnamese had hoped to become independent. Instead, the French reoccupied the territory, causing the Viet Minh to launch a war to liberate the country. As the war rages on, we must now decide how we support our French allies. Or do we support them at all? That's a real question. Happy 1950, everybody. Hope you're having a great new year. Come on, PRCs. Oh, that, I was going to ask. Like, when are you going to attack us? Nice. Can you take these guys on by yourself? That'd be kind of impressive if you could. Go in, go. If you can. Manpower, well, I guess it will be a little bit of an issue, but whatever. We are, are on volunteer only right now, so it is what it is. Yeah, you're still winning overall, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. French and China War. Uh, expanding NATO. NATO needs more allies to fight against the Soviets. Cool. Friend, enemies from within. Oh, I guess I never knew Joseph R. McCarthy was from Wisconsin. Okay, if you're wondering about that, please go ahead. A concerned development. McCarthyism. Lose political power, lose stability. And, uh, ideology drift defense, huh? Cool. Keep holding on, boys. And girls. And whoever else. We're just going to straight up leave NATO. I'd love to leave NATO. That'd be funny. And then, the Middle East. Operations lead. Talking about this. Lincoln Day speech. All right. 205 State Department workers suspected of being commies. Of course they are. Possible NATO expansion? Interesting. Quite interesting. Now I'll come over here. Um, can we go to limited conscription? Yeah, let's do that immediately. And then, add material designer. Soft sacks, not bad. Why well, do we go for 10%? Oh, because you have research speed for Colt. Um, honestly, I don't really care. I prefer to, Whatever we hit with, I want to hit him hard. So, that's what I like to do, at least. Middle East. Invite Greece. Invite West Germany. How about invite Greece? That'd be kind of cool. It makes more sense right now to do some Asian funding too, so... Let's do some Asian funding just so that we can help support the ROC, because they're not dead yet. <laughs> Maybe eventually. But they ain't dead yet, so... 
And we got about three days left, which is not too bad. But yeah, uh, for this campaign, I think we're going to go through like the entire gamut up until like the 70s, I think. I think the mid-70s I got content. I could be wrong, but hey, we'll see. Legislation passed. Good news. Defense Production Act. Yeah, let's do the CIA, I guess. Jonathan Walker seems really happy. He's a commando, so he's a seducer. Tax. Oh, no. Tax break proposals are gone. No, we can't build as much. Oh, we just do it again. Okay. I love. Just, just keep doing that then. Let's take a look at here. All right, Spirit Firepower is nice. $153 million. Oh, where's the debt? Most of the money's going to the, uh, well, military for now. Monthly expenditures. Okay, cool. GDP is just not enough. I mean, it's, it's going up a lot, but it's not enough. It's just straight up not enough. It's never going to be enough. I'll just be honest with you right now. Oh, they're attacking us again. Look at that. Yay. Well, Eisenhower, you're still learning. You're becoming an infantry leader, sort of. Failed coup in Afghanistan. Lalao Landau air disaster. Asian funding. Uh, invest in Taipei. Why not? That seems like a good idea. And then maybe we'll do some fun Japanese reconstruction because we can. Large increase in mutual system funding. Bankroll South Korean reconstruction. We probably want to do that pretty quickly. Fund the CIA front lines. It's not a bad idea, but all right, whatever. They just they just want to attack, man. Which I'm I'm okay with. And our divisions are, ain't doing too bad. What's our stockpile like? We are doing really well stuff. Cool. Lebanese Israeli ceasefire, the ex execution of Tureko Kostov. Tureko Kostov, the former head of the Bulgarian Communist Party, was executed by the Bulgarian government. He's been dismissed by the Central Committee and stripped of party membership several months ago. <clears throat> After his arrest, he was accused of deviating from Marxist Leninists by embracing nationalism, undermining Soviet ties, and being an agent of four Western intelligence agencies. During the trial, Kostov was not able to offer an executive. Effective defense and was swiftly found guilty. As Kostov was being tried, his supporters within the party were being arrested and put on trial as well as on similar charges. They also expected to be found guilty and sentenced to long prison sentences. Many believe the trials were show trials meant to purge part of Kostov and supporters and strengthen the pro Soviet factions within the party. Interesting. Very interesting. Honestly, are we slowing them down? Probably not, honestly. Like, they're, they're still attacking us. Like, hmm. I mean, obviously, our divisions are better overall, but, like, bruh. Bruh. We do have five research stuff, which is pretty nice. So, after funding Japanese reconstruction, let's do fundings for the Philippines and Indonesia. You never know. Modern increase of mutual assistance funding. Cool. So, I've played as a PRC before, but not really too many other people as well. Recon, um, where's logistics? Because I know for a fact we're going to need it. There it is. But what I want to do with our big boys here... Oh, do they have logistics? No, they don't. Never mind, they do. Fun some India and Pakistan, too. Might as well, right? Oh, what are we missing? Oh, no, we're... Missing 57 guns. Recoilless rifles? Very cool. Industrial subsidies? Might as well. Keep boosting it up as much as you possibly can. God, I just wish we could just win here. Just, like, just go and win. Well, we can. Division, if we just, if we're smart about it, our allies not so smarter. That's it. should pass. Great. National Defense Protection Act. World War protests against Bevin's Forza plan. Britain and France and Britain have gone the bridge too far. All right. We'll see what happens. So what happens with this? If it fails, we'll always be false. If we'll abort it, the Chinese Civil War has ended. So, with capital to Taipei. So, anti-communist national salvation. So if we can hold on for 400 more days, I think we'll do really well, but... I guess we'll wait and see what happens, I guess. I don't know. Can I send any more guys yet? We could probably only consent, probably send fewer guys now. No, it's only eight still. That's not bad. Probably could China Navy. God, I hope they can hold out. I just don't think they can. So after this one, I guess... Um, bankroll South Korean reconstruction. We might as well do that as fast as possible. Because I have a feeling South Korea's, Korea is going to need our help. Limited Israeli economic aid. Uh, well, well, there they go. The Korean War. War never changes. Holy crap. 14?
Well. Hope everyone here is ready to go kaboom. Because, oh my goodness. Can we see some... Okay, so we can't some planes out. So I'll go some one, two, three. Right here. Or right here. Oh yeah, once they're done deploying, of course. Right there, and then one. We'll have some extra cast right here. Oh, they don't own that, do they? Well, that sucks. Got some mortar guns, and what else? Combat vehicles? Why not? Trying to hold, we're barely holding on here in China. And then the Koreans attack, oh, the North Koreans attack. Then again, like, actually, uh, well, I'm just thinking right now, like, uh, let's do that one too. Why not? Um, these guys have to get involved in North Korea, right? I don't think we'll be able to hold out, honestly. Like, we're doing the best we can, but our allies, not so much. Not so much. We just gotta hold on. 14 divisions is insane. So now let's do you guys. And do what? Integrate Germany into this? Uh, containment policy, yeah. Let's do the containment policy next. Actually, since we're here anyways, we want to do the an arms race. Vastly expand the military industrial complex. I don't know about that. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that. But we'll probably do it anyways eventually. Asia. Oh, we can do stuff in Asia. Focus related to our interest in Asia. Oh, well, I should have done this one way before. Way, 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 way. Oh, we can enter the, join the fray. Oh, we literally declared war on them. Oh, we, oh, we should have done this way before. Oh, that's my fault. Oh, I didn't even know this existed here. Oh, it might be too late for them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I did say I want to be historical, but, you know, whatever. They're still learning. Oh, and you guys made it. Cool. Uh, take Douglas MacArthur. This seems actually very historical, like... Alright, boys, we sent some volunteers over to North Korea. Um, legislation passed. The biggest challenge to global order is the rise of the radical communist movements across Europe and Asia following 45. The Soviet Union is blatantly supporting these efforts and are offering arms, training, and cash to these organizations to subvert and overthrow democratic regimes. In territories under Soviet military occupation, they have simply purged non-communist political parties and forcibly established communist regimes. To combat this, the U.S. is establishing alliances among the frontline states, facing communism and encouraging collective defense. American military, economic, and political aid will protect these states from covert and overt communist threats. The goal is to surround this communist world and continue from further expansion. Good to know. So, actually, how do I get more political power? I, I don't mind getting more political power, but it costs a little bit more. Uh, population growth does go down if we do this. Metro police. Um, medical system. What is it? Military, basic military. Uh, it helps out, but not much. You get more here. M nominal welfare spending? It's not terrible. And after Asia, we're probably going to do the Chinese Civil War. The Cuban problem. The presidential election in Cuba is due to happen soon. The polls, however, seem to show a strong support for left-wing candidates. If this were to happen, the Cuba might finally sl slowly fall into communism. As such, the CIA suggests that we use our power to sway the elections in favor of a more suitable candidate. Also, the Korean War auto bypass already, so... What if we did uh, a UN police action? We must get the UN to help with the war. Nice. Send more volunteers. We're still holding on China barely, but you'll see what happens. The Korean War draft. Oh. Economic aid. We're still trying to help out the Chinese, though. Establishment of Masai. Cool. Mongolian disillusionment with Stalin. All right. Approaching a conclusion. All right. Reform the South Korean army. I'm more worried about the Chinese right now, so we definitely got to do the China stuff and then get some direct involvement or bring the issue to the UN. We'll probably do that one next. Well, I wish there was more descriptions for these focuses. I kind of would prefer that, but hey, that, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Anything else here? Korean War ceasefire. 333 days left. God, can you just just hold out? Just hold out, please. I'd love for us to attack, but like... Ah, the UN resolution dot... 86, okay. Nice, you guys can actually win there. The United Nations Security Council unanimously voted to pass a resolution 82 in response to the North Korean invasion of South Korea. The Soviet Union did not attend the meeting as they were boycotting the Security Council, so they could not veto. Of the present Security Council members, only Yugoslavia chose to abstain. The resolution condemns the North Korean invasion and calls on member states to assist South Korea and refrain from calling or arming or supporting North Korea. The U.S. and her allies are holding the resolution as a major diplomatic victory, and analysts believe it will pave the way for more direct American involvement in the conflict.
For many member states, especially the U.S. and Western Europe, their sympathy to the South Koreans is the memories of World War II and the surprises attacks by the Axis powers remain embedded in the collective memory of its volunteers. Or of its leaders, too. So if the rule can send volunteers, they gotta support and bring the issue to the U.N. At least for China. Yeah, not bad. We're gonna win here just a little bit. Oh, God, this is dangerously... Oh, so bad. So bad. If we move, like... I just don't wanna get cut off. You know what? Oh, this is not bad for them. This is this is a river line, so we'll see. Um, I just want to be able to push back out against these guys. Let's come back uh, here-ish, maybe. Because I don't want that capital to get cut off. Anything else around here yet? No, not really. We're doing okay. Then bring the issue to the UN. Leave it to fate. Uh, huh. Call for international military intervention. Call for humanitarian aid. Uh, we'll probably do this one. So, humanitarian aid seems like a good idea. U.S. and police action. Why not? We'll see what happens. I should have really done some stuff first, but whatever. It is what it is. They have stand for a measure on Chinese police action. Okay, an interesting choice. What? Isn't that Harold Macmillan? Thank you, TNO and Thousand Week Reich. U.S. calls for U.N. police action in China. What will come of this? Probably dead China, but whatever. How are you doing up here? Because I sent vol We sent volunteers. Okay, so... We sent volunteers up here. We are not doing anything. We just sent volunteers. We're not actually in any of the fighting either. So... Oh, you guys can actually attack. Okay. So, what happens if we actually win here? That's my question. Um... Help out if you can. Coalition... Ah, oh, the people's volunteer army industry. There you go. And then, Truman annoyed with MacArthur, MacArthur over China. <coughs> President Truman has expressed his annoyance with General MacArthur ever receiving news of the massive Chinese military intervention in Korea. He blames MacArthur for his cavalier military strategy and aggressive public statements. He feels these actions provoke the Chinese to act. General MacArthur is not more not too perturbed, too perturbed by this development and feels his forces are more than capable to meet the challenge. There are some reports in the media suggesting the President is not happy with the military situation in Korea. Darn it. Well, who cares? MacArthur might be right. just right. He might just be right. Go, uh, Fortress Buster. We'll probably make enough equipment. Probably, so. We'll see. God, we need more air superiority here. Weird to say, but yeah, we definitely do. Eh, we're doing it relatively okay, I should though, but. How, how, how's it looking down here? Oh, they're really beating the crap out of us. Of course, I think we, we just put our, our divisions over here, too, so. Well, what do you kind of expect? Call for humanitarian aid? Yep. A worthy cause? You bet it is. At least for now. Make us look good. Leave it to fate. No thanks. Um, I don't know what else we can do here, I guess. <coughs> Korean War Draft, probably. We need more men to help our war efforts in Korea. With ex Elston Act revision, this induction age will be lowered to 18, com a question mark, and extended active duty service commitments of 24 months until all of our guys die. Can we actually get to the the border here? That'd be really cool if we could. Maybe not. Alright, so maybe y'all want to hold. Because you're not winning anymore. And they're going to start attacking us soon. We just got to be ready for them. God, I hope we can do okay here. They're pushing into here too now, which sucks. Are you guys not all on the line? Why are you not? I don't understand sometimes what they're thinking. But whatever. Whatever. What is this? Anything else here? No? Execution of Cho Man Sik. Alright. That sucks for you. Uh, they, they will be attacking eventually, so I'm not too worried about that. And then, economic aid for South Korea. Without a strong economy, the South will fall fast. Anyone will fall fast without a strong economy. So, yeah, I kind of expect that. <clears throat> Anything else here? Can we actually... Can we actually push in? We might be able to. Ah, better logistics. Good, good, good. Uh, maintenance, medical stuff, which... Signal support. Let's try that one. Can you actually not win here? Hold up, hold, hold up. These guys... They're looking pretty darn good, actually. So, if that's the case, you guys should be winning here. I understand why you can't. Alright, well, hold for now. Oh, demographics. Oh, I forgot about that. That's, yeah, that's, that's the thing in this mod, too. Don't lose! Kermit Roosevelt Jr., hello! Oh, God, they're attacking us now even more. Oh, God, they're really attacking us. Oh, big boys. Oh, big boys. This is not good. I can't imagine trying to keep this up, though. Like, seriously. Well, we lost it now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, it's not good. Not good. Not good. Economic aid and then reform the South Korean army. Oh, for the love of God, China. Don't lose. We've spent so much time here trying to prop you up. 
That's not good. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Um, head on over here. Hold first. Hold first. Now, get over here. Get out, and then retreat. What happens when we get involved here, man? It's all what, we, what happens when you get involved. Get out, get out. Because we're about to lose a lot of work. Uh, how are they not dead yet? Oh, they're still up there, too. That sucks. Guys, can you get over here, please? Thank you. Uh, we are we are losing here. How are we losing? All right, so that's a case. We're going to make these guys immediately 40 combat with because we got more than enough stuff here to do it with, so... Let's roll on some of the, more of these big boys. Uh, I don't mind. How much how much artillery do we actually have? Medium heavies. We got plenty of medium artillery. So just normal artillery. That's not too bad. Re replace you with nothing. Me light artillery. We do this. We get even more soft stack. We lose some defense, which I don't really want to do. So remove that. And we lose armor, but whatever. One, two, three, four ish. Get some more infantry then. Really gonna buff you a little bit more here, overall, I would say, because you get way more soft stack and at least defense and air attack and stuff, so. There you go, that's okay. Because we have enough already, hopefully, for this group. Yeah, we do. That's nice. Defending that territory would be really good, so we'll see. This is turning into doggy doo doo right now. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, we're starving for supplies, too. God dang it. This is dumb, man. This is so dumb. Johnny, why? But, denounce communism in Asia. Because we can. Seriously, where, why, do we, why do they have to take every single tile? Why is it... Oh my god. Why is the Republic capital all the way over there? Tax rate proposal. Let's do it again. Just get over here. Excuse me. How are we holding up in, in Korea? We doing okay? They're not really attacking us? We suffer from supply issues, maybe? Not too much, no. The eyes of the Crusaders, huh? Alright, well, interesting. Alright, then. Reform local alliances. Might as well, right? God, they're attacking us again. And they probably do establish Sito. Well, we can't do that one just yet, so. Um, so we're done with this side. Can we do anything up here again? I don't want to do the CIA stuff. Actually, we should probably do the CIA stuff. Yeah. Operations led to the CIA, or related to the CIA. It was probably a good thing to do. Um, yeah, there's stuff right over here. Nothing's going on over here, which is fine. Yeah, I'm not going to attack. I've, I've done the attacking as a PRC, so... Ah, this is disappointing. I wish we could have won that one. Korea, I'm, I'm pretty sure we won't lose Korea, but you never know. Ooh, we can suck napalm. Drafting a target list determines what sta what states you are allowed to target. If war began, you will not be able to use this until the mission completes. White phosphorus, sarin. God, I want to use so gas. We'll see. And then, uh, Iran desk, radio for Europe. Vietnam, Guatemala. Project Fat Effer. It's <laughs> funny. Cool. Syria. Straggle. I guess we can wait for that one. Albanian subversion, Japan desk. Indonesia desk, domestic front. Operation Mockingbird. Uh, it's not terrible, yeah. Begin Project MK Ultra. Ooh, I kinda like that one. Anti merger stuff. McCarran Internal Security stuff. Yeah, let's do that one. The McCarran Internal Security Act will require communist organizations to register with the Attorney General to provide details of their finances. In addition, it allows the President to apprehend and detain people suspected of conspiring or likely being to conspire to sabotage or spy in the U.S. What Red Scare are you talking about? No one said anything about the Red Scare. MacArthur advocates a wider war. <clears throat> As the war in Korea continues to grind on, General MacArthur is increasingly suggesting the conflict could be expanded. He is linking the struggle against communism in Asia with Europe and believes the war should be expanded to target mainly Chinese troops and protect. Taiwan. Some of these comments have found their way into the media and led to editorials of supporting the argument. President Truman is said to be infuriated by these developments. He does not agree with the assessment and wishes to keep the war eliminated to Korea. In particular, Truman is concerned with reports of the UN naval forces being deployed towards Taiwan and the mainland coast. Above all else, Truman has expressed his fear that MacArthur is purposely leaking information to the media. General MacArthur is going too far. What do you mean? Look at what we have to deal with nowadays. How much have to delete these divisions? Uh... 
this point, can the Chinese nationals just lose? Please, just lose now. Are you guys, oh god, are you seriously trying to attack? Can you actually win here? No, you cannot. Oh, President Truman, oh, thank god for Truman being fine, oh boy. That's not good. <coughs> According to the survey, there are vast quantities of untapped oil reserves in the Big Ben. How much debt do we have now? Current debt, 550 billion, huh? Oh, good God, that's not good. I do not want to lose these divisions, man. I do not. Bond Doom Conference, very cool. Interesting, interesting. McCarran Internal Security. Uh, Anti-Merger Act. The Anti-Merger Act will close the loophole in Clayton Antitrust Act in 1914 that allowed businessmen to buy competitors' assets rather than buy the business directly to gain a monopoly that way. It also gave the government the ability to prevent vertical integration and conglomerate mergers. Nice. Now, we're going to be researching a whole bunch in here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mary Schofield, thank you very much for applying for the job. Just defend up here. That's all I want you to do. That's all we got to do. And how is construction doing? We're doing quite well with construction. GDP is looking pretty good. Oh, it actually went down a little bit. That's not fun. Nice. Housing Act. No, let's go do this one first. Anti mergers. Cool. And McCarran Security. Daily Comp Support goes down. You bet your took us it does. Oh, Waldheimer Palsy. Cool. Um, I didn't realize that this one, current supporting legislation 96, 239 for House members. So I guess we probably try to get through all this stuff as fast as possible, I guess. Housing Act. No. <clears throat> Housing Act provides further funds for slum clearing and urban renewal. It also gives more authorization for the federal mortgage programs and more funding to research building techniques. <coughs> Truman demands obedience from MacArthur. President Truman's demand General MacArthur rein in his public comments and advocacy for a wider conflict. In particular, Truman wishes for MacArthur to avoid commenting or making decisions connected to the foreign policy. Truman believes MacArthur is defying executive power and exercising power beyond his domain as a military commander. General MacArthur is said to be frustrated by the president and his apparent ego. Tensions are arising between the executive and military command in Korea. Problems bounding? Yeah. Yeah, they're not that bad. Oh, crap. Daily doctrine probably would help us out, so. Alright, let's keep going on. MacArthur Commun Communique. General MacArthur ordered a communique for the senior officers under his command about launching offensive operations against China. MacArthur claims Chinese power is greatly exaggerated, and the Korean conflict can be used to deal with the Chinese threats on Taiwan as pushed to secure a seat at the Security Council. President Truman planned on releasing a similar communique and is said to be furious with MacArthur. In particular, Truman is upset with the comments related to foreign policy, and he and his advisors believe MacArthur is undermining the presidency and expanding the military, his military command beyond acceptable realms. Civil military tensions mount, of course, because they always do. Oh, crap, that's not good. Move over here. I want, like, a few divisions go this way, too. Just in case. And then, Social Security Act 1950. Social Security Act 1950 is another amendment to the original Social Security Act 35. It extends the act's lifespan, increasing benefits for the first time, and introduces cost of living adjustments to the program. Nice. No, these... Oh my god, South Korea, please don't attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you don't really have the resources to attack, son. A lot of cities need to be built. Mm, need more Marine APCs. Oh, we have no rocket artillery. Well, we could use some rocket artillery, can't we? We need more resources. Holy crap, we need some petrochemicals. Oh, approaching a conclusion. Allies express concern over MacArthur. President Truman has heard from several other leaders, senior leaders in allied states who have expressed concern over General MacArthur. They say his world views contradictory to their own and the fear his judgment may cause the Korean conflict to explode into a global conf conflict. There are also concerns over his comments to the media as they were often inflammatory. A more practical concern is his issuance of orders that at times almost contradicts from the policy agreed by political leaders. In one example, MacArthur authorized a major operation right before he received orders to not push on the front, even though he knew these orders were coming. President Truman has assured those leaders that General MacArthur will not dictate policy in the White House and then confirm control of the situation. Assure our allies. Cool. And what's happening over here? <clears throat> ah. Approaching conclusion. No surrender. Losses? Stalemate? Who cares? We ain't leaving until we kick those darn colonies out of the peninsula. Attempt negotiations? Abandon South Korea. We lost enough here? No. No. Evacuated the state of Oregon. Add Korean as a cultural present. To the Oregon as well as the religious demographic of the state. Take negotiations. <clears throat> Throwing the Chinese, pushing to Manchuria. I'd love to do that. 
A new front? I mean, we could kill them off. Chinese withdrawal. But I want to go historical. I know some people don't want me to, but we could attempt negotiations. Come to stalemate with neither side being able to achieve a breakthrough. Perhaps the North will be willing to negotiate. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Chelates. You guys are doing fine over there. Just over here, just... Oh, I'm so concerned. Just because these guys... All died. Okay. Where's the capital? Is it Taipei? MacArthur orders offensive operations. <clears throat> Treaty San Francisco. Nice. President Truman was recently asked if he would order more offenses in Korea. The president stated such decisions were up to the commander on the ground, of course. General MacArthur took us as permission and gave his commanders permission to conduct offenses on the ground without consulting the White House. Upon hearing this news, President Truman was again agitated with President, with not President, but MacArthur, and believes he has once again overstepped his authority. President Truman decided to call a meeting of his senior military leaders to discuss the future commander, General MacArthur. MacArthur continuously issues orders and actions that are right on the boundary of acceptable, and he clearly cannot follow the policies dictated by the White House. Assure our allies. Who cares about our allies? Like, what can they do? Maybe the Brits can do some stuff, and the French can do some stuff, but other than that, who else? Huh? <clears throat> Legislation passed. Housing Act is now up on for debate. Anti-merger. Monthly population. Let's get some more monthly population. I like a monthly population here. Eh, we can do stuff down there, but we're not doing anything here yet. We're gonna wait. We got time. American Armed Forces, we could wait as well. <clears throat> Social Security Act. I just want y'all to hang out here and have a good time. Nice. Right, so we get our uh, operative back. Very good. And then crack down on strikers. The workers of U.S. Steel and other important steel companies vital to the nation's civilian economy and military are planning on striking. We're trying to nationalize the mills they work at. We can attempt to cut off the strike before it begins. Not a bad idea. Steel strikes at 52. I'll have a 51, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. <sighs> Would you guys please stop attacking? Um, go over to here. I know you want to push out, but we don't have a lot of strength, guys. And you're fighting literally into mountains, which is a bad idea, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Healthcare. Hmm. Well, we'll see. GDP is still at 0.83 trillion, which is not enough yet, but... Whatever. Oh, 0.85 trillion now. GDP growth rate is minus 10.7%. That's pretty bad. It's because we got a lot of civilian industry that we're trying to build up. Well, eventually we'll get some a lot more uh, office parks, but things take time, you know. Wait, what? What? Wait, what the heck? Are we part of that faction? No, we're not. President Truman held a meeting with the chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, or Joint Chiefs. Secretary of Defense and Secretary of State and stop advisor to discuss the future of General MacArthur. Truman has grown concerned that MacArthur continuously operates independently from the White House and at times he has interfered in foreign policy during the Korean conflict. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs and Secretary of Defense asked for a day to consider. After consulting the service heads, it concurred that a relief of MacArthur was desirable. With this information, President Truman has decided to finally relieve General MacArthur of command. President Truman asked if MacArthur could be relieved for insubordination. The Joint Chiefs advised against this as MacArthur could then ask for a court-martial. Instead, they suggest he be relieved. Just be relieved. However, Truman is very tempted to call MacArthur out for insubordination to demonstrate executive authority and limit public criticism. The decision must be made. Relieve him. For insubordination. I don't know. Congressional votes on whether to vote and preach Truman. I don't want to do this. I don't I don't want him here, man. Why? why? Tax relief for the poor? That's not bad. But it only happens for a while. Just relieve him. Uh, oh, yeah. Tax relief for the poor. There are unfortunately many poor people in the U.S. By giving them tax breaks, not only will it gain them and their families some breathing room, it all gives them more money to put back in their economy. Why do we have to get rid of him? Like, bro. Bro. Corrupt. You gave him free reign, you said. So, 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 something like that, man. Something like that. MacArthur relieved. The White House message is Army Secretary currently visiting Korea to inform General MacArthur that he would be relieved. However, there was an issue with the signals, and the Army Secretary never received the message instead. Truman informed a report of his decision, and MacArthur only found out when he had heard of reports in Tokyo about his dismissal. General MacArthur said to be deeply hurt by his complying with his orders to hand over his command and his press release. President Truman acknowledged their illustrious career, General MacArthur, but noted that he was not wholly committed to the national policy and thus had to be replaced. The MacArthur family was making plans to return back to the U.S. Interesting. Public outrage over dismissal. News that General MacArthur had been relieved of command has caused a lot of media backlash across the U.S. Many editorials are criticizing President Truman for unceremoniously removing the most decorated officer in American history. Many reports note it was the leadership of MacArthur that turned the tide in Korea, and his relief was due to what appears to be a jealousy from the White House and not military conduct. To the millions of Americans who remembered MacArthur for his wartime heroics or served under him during his over 50 years in the Army, his removal was being seen as a slap in the face. Only a few major newspapers supported the President by claiming MacArthur had overstepped his boundaries one too many times, and the administration was left with only one choice. Media backlash? 
Flash? Well, he deserves it. MacArthur is a smoker. That's all I gotta say. MacArthur dresses Congress, yeah. Good. Old soldiers never die. Execution in Kochi Zossi? Huh. Track down the strikers. In 52? Uh, disappointing. But, uh, okay. National healthcare system? It's actually for the poor first. We're gonna beeline to Elsa. Ticker tape parade in New York. Legislation passed? Good news! And then, what else can we do? Anti mergers? Cap? Uh, yeah. Consumer factors goes up. That's not good. Anti merger act. Proposed national healthcare system. In many rural and low-income areas, there's no hospitals or even doctors. In addition, public health services are inadequate and have little funding. These situations can be improved by creating a national health care system, but Senate Republicans investigate, investigate Truman over MacArthur. The Senate Armed Forces Committee and Senate Foreign Relations Committee holding an inquiry into the war into the Far East and the decision to dismiss General MacArthur. Many Republican senators and representatives have criticized the president for his action. President Robert Taft called the decision vindictive and hasty, saying he proved how unfit President Truman was for the office. Along with the Joint Chiefs, General MacArthur will likely present evidence of the inquiry. The inquiry will decide if President Truman violated his constitutional authority when he removed the general. The inquiry is not just a major embarrassment for the president, but also threatens to leave him vulnerable for an impeachment vote. Senate forms Senate Internal Security Subcommittee. The U.S. Senate has created the Senate Internal Security Subcommittee to investigate the enforcement of the Internal Security Act and other laws related to espionage, infiltration, and sabotage against the U.S. of A. The committee is being led by Senator Patrick McCarran. This committee is expected to pay LA a major role in uncovering communist threats to the U.S. Senator Joseph McCarthy, the firebrand anti-communist crusader, is not on the committee. Many insiders note the Republican Party leadership is cautious of McCarthy and his aggressive accusations, which is why they ensured he would not be on the committee. We must protect the homeland, but without our main guy. Um, I like missiles, but eh, I don't know. I don't really use them too much. I forget more cast. Douglas Aircraft Company? Why not? Might as well. So, technically, the Civil War is still raging on, so... We'll see what happens. If nothing else comes with this, we'll see what happens. And then... Oh, uh, yeah. Propose a national healthcare system. Because I, I want to get through all this stuff first, maybe. McCarran-Walter Act. Mutual Security Act. Senate inquiry absolves Truman. The Senate investigation into the firing of General MacArthur reaches final conclusions. They conclude that President Truman has not breached congressional of constitutional authority by relieving MacArthur. However, they know the circumstances occurred to hurt the national pride of the American people. The inquiry also claimed that there's no evidence for major disagreements on military strategy between MacArthur and the Joint Chiefs. During the inquiry, General MacArthur proved use powerful testimony defending of himself. However, all his claims were rebutted by the Joint Chiefs, greatly weakening his arguments. A big blow for MacArthur? Doesn't matter. The invasion of Laos. Urgent news have arisen. It seems that the North of Vietnam is seized in the Chipon uh, district near the DMZ between North and South Vietnam. Hanoi claims that these villages had historically been a part of Vietnam for centuries. Soon enough, widespread fighting was seen all over the border with North Vietnam, Vietnam and Laos. The Vietnamese tactics were intended to open a trail in the Chepon district, and was to be known as the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Is this a twilight of French colonialism? Well, let's at least expand funding for electrification programs. In this modern day and age, electricity is absolutely essential for everyone, everywhere. We are in the process of spreading a power through the country, but we need more funds to do so effectively and, of course, efficiently. Can you guys actually win here now? It seems like you're doing okay-ish. Let me go with Hong Nam. That'd be kind of cool. Hope we can. 63. That's gonna be. It's gonna be just a grinder. A meat grinder. So we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness! Stop getting captured, people. Point nine five trillion ain't enough. Keep bringing it on. How much manpower does North Korea have, actually? 54,000 is not very much. How about you guys? I haven't looked at this page yet. Ah, uh, Mao Zedong. It's a lot. A lot of divisions. A lot of manpower. What do you expect? It's, it's China. North Korea, though, like, they could run out of guns, but they still have China. Okay, they're going to literally run out of manpower soon. Nice. Tax break? Keep going. Legislation passed. Good job, guys. And then, launch a Deutsche Fallsefunk. Cool. An interesting development. Proposed civil rights, civil rights legislation? Uh, I prefer the McGuire Act. The McGuire Act will follow the Miller, Miller Tidings Act of 1937, which allows states to pass fair trade laws to protect small businesses through vertical price fixing. This exception is needed to bypass the Sherman Antitrust Act. Tax breaks? Oh, you betcha. Did we actually take this? Oh, we actually took this out. Look at that, huh? Go figure. I don't think I'm going to attack just yet. Nice. 
Baby Boom, McCarthyism. American Legion supports communist investigations. The powerful veterans group, the American Legion, declared it supported all investigations into potential communist sympathizers and Soviet spies on U.S. soil. The group notes that communism is the antithesis of American democracy and liberty. Thousands of American soldiers have given their lives to defend these ideas, and millions have served to preserve it. Out of respect for the sacrifices, it's the duty of the American government to fully investigate and destroy these threats of the U.S. With this endorsement by the influential group, politicians on both sides of the aisle openly supported, who will be openly supported, supporting the investigations to not lose the vote of veterans who constitute or constitute a large voting bloc across the country. Nice. All right, get back home. We gonna stick you somewhere. There you go. MacArthur attacks losing steam. General Douglas MacArthur continues to make statements to the media and address his audiences over his dismissal from command in Korea. Although it remains immensely popular due to his five decades of service in the military, his constant attacks on Truman are losing the power. Many Americans who saw MacArthur as a potential presidential candidate are losing interest as MacArthur does not appear to have a clear vision for the future of the country beyond his desire to see Truman lose. A soldier past his prime. What's the point of sending soldiers over to die if you don't go all the way, man? Hmm. They're all a little bit ahead of time. All this rocketry stuff. Well, almost all of it, I guess. Mary Stone. Edmund Jenkins. Why not? Light tank 2s. Go light tank 3s. Heavy tanks. We're not going to really be using those. But, recon observers. Nice. Get some more balance military, please. Suppression bonus are very good as well. <clears throat> All right, after that, proposed civil rights legislation. After desegregating the armed forces, there are many other steps we can take to prove African American rights and gain their votes. They are repressed in almost every social setting, and racial tensions are, of course, high. We need to do something about this. Okay. So, oh, now they're launching an offensive against us. Well, would you look at that? I'm going to be here indefinitely. Please don't tell me we're going to be here indefinitely. Mott Pie triumphant in Israeli elections. Assassination General Haj Ali Ramzada, Razmada. 39 divisions. That's so sad. Legislation passed. Good job, guys. McGuire Act. Yeah, might as well, right? Hey, 1.06 trillion in GDP. Nice. Uh, Mutual Security Act. The Mutual Security Act of 51 is a follow-up on the one of 49. It will create a new agency to oversee the Marshall Plan and supervise foreign aid programs, both military and economic, to ensure that we have allies capable of defending the world from the Red Menace. Or die trying, probably. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that. Nice. Oh, ma, Bradley. Oh, ma, oh, ma, oh, ma. How much debt do we have? Economic investments. Current debt is 500 some billion. Monthly balance 50 some billion. Remaining uh, domestic bonds. Pay off debt. Oh, fate of mainland China. Oh, well, that sucks. They signed a white piece. Really? Well, that sucks. I want to do more. The KMT holds on. That's impossible to do. Fate of the mainland. Fortify Taiwan. That's so dumb. We tried our best here, man. Thousands died, fought and died for this area. They're still fighting, though. What do you mean? They literally just killed these guys off. Oh, my goodness. They lied to us. They really lied to us. I guess they're just naturally just paying off the debt anyways as we get more stuff, so. Follow the mainland? Might as well. Oh, well, there, there goes that. Fortify Taiwan. While the war is over, for now, it's highly likely the communists will attempt to take Taiwan as well. To deter them, we should help the nationals fortify the island. Because we can and what else we could do here? And we'll do the Mutual Security Act next and the calm political tensions. Between all the communist radical elements and just plain angst about the Cold War and the country's direction, political tensions are high. We need to fuse the situation before things get out of control and some real damage occurs. Well, at least you boys are home for now. It's fine. <coughs> Founding of the New China. Well, that sucks. We tried our best. Well, we were forced out. I don't know how you're supposed to win, but it's career rebound. Just two years after testifying to the House of Un-American Activities, former Hollywood 10 member Edward Dimitrick 
is seeing a resurgence of his career as a director. Since this defines the director of a number of films, including one with the rising Hollywood actor Kirk Douglas, the rumors he may be picked to direct an upcoming film starring Humphrey Bogart that observers, that observers believe may be a big hit during the Oscar season. It appears that his repentance, condemnation, and communism was key as all of the other Hollywood ten members continue to be blacklisted across the film industry. Hollywood insiders believe that studios fear a public backlash if they were to hire men seen as communist sympathizers. You know, in general, that sucks for y'all. <laughs> Oh, they're still attacking us. Nice. The McGuire Act. Nice. Legislation passed. Good job, guys. Good job. How much debt do we have? 500 billion still? It's fine, whatever. Current money is 300 billion. So much debt. So much debt. I hate it. They're still attacking us, so. God. Pre stressed concrete, huh? Yeah, do that one now. That'd be good. Well, Omar Bradley, I bet you didn't expect you were doing this in Korea, but whatever. Clark Lewis Ruffner. Alright, cool. Jane Young. We like him, Young. Oh, are you kidding me, you son of a rattlesnake? Julius and Ethel Rosenberg indicted. A grand jury has indicted both Julius and Ethel Rosenberg for espionage and betraying the U.S. The couple are both already in custody after Julius was arrested several months ago following an FBI investigation uh, that identified him as a Soviet spy. A grand jury was then set up and during those proceedings, Ethel Rosenberg was also arrested after she testified. The husband and wife will soon be brought to trial as the government accuses both of leading a powerful spy ring that gave American nuclear secrets to the Soviet Union during the war. Julius Rosenberg... <clears throat> Who worked for the army during the war is accused of recruiting agents for the top secret Manhattan Project and providing invaluable information to the Soviets. Ethel Rosenberg is accused of assisting her husband in these efforts. And the McCarran Walter Act. The McCarran Walter Act will maintain the country's ethnic status quo and prevent the destabilization or destabilizing influence of communists, Jewish interests, and other undesirables by creating strict immigration quotas based on ethnicity and region, as well as labor qualifications. Nice. Federal Republic of Germany established the EDC. Well, as long as they're feeling good. What do we do about Austria? We still have divisions over here, too. It's kind of weird. What makes sense? Guy? You got anything for us? You got an infrastructure expert, I guess? Why not? De declines campaign. That sucks. Unsurprising, though. Current debt is way too much. Should have used gas against the Chinese. <clears throat> Excuse me, how many minutes we lost in Korea? 5,000? That's actually not, that's a lot better than I thought it would be. Preserve a national sovereignty, calm political tensions, and the Walter Act. And maybe we'll the episode after that. Maybe, we'll see. Korean War ceasefire? Well, this Korean War stuff is going to stay here for a while anyway, so it's alright. And let's see. Let's go ahead and choose something else here. The stuff up there is fine, but an arms race? Uh, mobile defense is nice. Come on. I love me some support companies. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and do expand the technical assistance program. Maybe. Suez Crisis. Of course, we got to deal with that later on. Military uh, and economic assistance for Taiwan is what we'll do. And maybe the foremost of resolution. But I think that'll end us here for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Tell, let me know how disappointed you are that we couldn't save the KMT against the PRC. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll try to grow our GDP and help out Korea. South Korea. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.